So on to our dinosaur of the day, Uberabatitan, which was a request from Ellie via our Patreon and Discord. And like you said, Garrett, it was a titanosaur. So a titanosaur sauropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Minas Gerais, Brazil, in the Serra de Galga formation. I'm glad it's a titanosaur because it ends in titan. And things that end in titan should be titanosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't always, but they should be. Does make it easier to remember. It looked like other titanosaurs. It was giant and robust. It had a long neck, a long tail, a small head. It walked fairly upright on all fours. Titanosaurs had tails that were flexible and strong. It had robust bones. It's one of the best known titanosaurs. At least one bone for each part of the skeleton has been found. And more than 60 bones were found. They include neck, back, tail bones, pelvic bones, limb bones. No skull has been found, though. Womp womp. Yeah. Even one of the best known titanosaurs is missing the skull. Skulls are hard to find, especially for <laughs> sauropods. <Yeah. laughs> The fossils were originally thought to belong to at least three individuals, but a later study found they belonged to at least five individuals, and at least one of them was juvenile. And then one of the individuals is considered to be a giant, because it's estimated to grow up to 85 feet or 26 meters long, but the other individuals were estimated to be between 33 and 49 feet or 10, 15 meters long. So those are just large and giant, not super giant? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Like other sauropods, they grew quickly and without interruption early on, and then as they matured, they grew in cycles with some periodic slowdowns. The type species is Uberabatitan riberoi, and the genus name means Uberabatitan. It refers to Uberaba, which is the city near where the fossils were found, and the species name is in honor of Luis Carlos Borges Ribeiro, quote, director of the Centro de Pasquisas Paleontologicus Llewellyn Price for his consistent support of paleontological research in Minas Gerais State, end quote. Uberabatitan was named in 2008 by Leonardo Salgado and Ismar de Souza Carvalho. The fossils were found at a road cut along a highway. All the fossils were found in one quarry, and they were collected over a period of four years. Uberabatitan had unique features on the tibia and fibula, like a protuberance, something that stuck out on the tibia that formed a joint with the fibula. The holotype includes leg bones and ankle bones. It used to actually include more fossils, but it's unclear if those belong to the same individual. There's another specimen found known as DGM Series A that may be Uberabatitan, or it might be a close relative. There's also two teeth that may belong to Uberabatitan, and one of them is the largest titanosaur tooth found so far. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's got a crown measuring 2.4 inches or 6.2 centimeters high. But we don't know for sure if those teeth are from Uberabatitan. I mean, a two and a half inch tooth isn't that impressive for a dinosaur, but I guess for a titanosaur. Well, if you're comparing to a theropod, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but a titanosaur, yeah. And those teeth are chisel-like and slender. There was a study in 2015 done that found bone pathologies in Uberabatitan that includes two fused mid-tail vertebrae and a healing fracture also in the middle of the tail. It had a bony overgrowth in the formable lumps, and this could have been from arthritis, an inflammatory disease, or an internal infection, which doesn't sound pleasant. Uberabatitan lived in an area with plains, rivers, and small temporary ponds. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include titanosaurs, such as Baru Titan and Trigonosaurus, and Dromaeosaurus, such as Ipupiara. And other animals that lived around the same time and place include crocodilomorphs and mollusks. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 